God, no, say hi, Zog. Leave a message again. <laughs> Welcome to your forest adventure. That's the button. <laughs> Look how old dog. Come on. Makeovers. Oh, hang on. Markers. Markers as you move through the forest. Oh, so now we've got to go for the walk, have we? So we've got to look for that. Look, there's Sienna. Sienna! Zog's right there. You're right next to him. He's looking at you. Look! He's invisible. invisible. I don't know why you've got a rope either. Good afternoon, everybody. If you haven't already guessed, we have come to do the Zog Trail. So we saw yesterday that our friend Jen took her children to do it up in Yorkshire where they live and it looked absolutely brilliant. And she said to me this morning, if you've got a Zog Trail nearby, definitely go and do it. So I thought, well, Howden Forest usually does all the trails. So I had a look and yes, it's on. So we've just got our Zog Trail pack. Um, Sienna did have the wings on, but they were hurting. I did them too tight. But she's got a, she's got a LED glasses. She's got glasses on and we are going to go on an adventure and look for Lizzie's Zog. Oh yeah, Lizzie's got the phone with everything in it, haven't you? Ready to go and find Zog. You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else. I got you, and you got me too. I can see it. Can you see it, Sienna? Sienna, won't be jumping. I actually can't. I actually can't because I have such a eyesight. I can't actually see. You can't see that great big marker just up there. I actually can't. Stop pointing at it. I actually can't. Where is it? Actually, where is it? It says, did you know, when you think of nests, you probably think of trees, but many birds lay their eggs on the ground. Help keep baby birds and nests safe. Be careful not to disturb any wildlife. It says, in the year one, dog learns how to fly, just like birds. Baby birds can't fly as soon as they hatch. It can take days or even weeks. They are often well camouflaged to help them hide while they learn. So now you've got to flap your wings and try to fly. Go, fly to daddy. Fly, fly, fly. It's not working. Oh, there's another thing there as well. That's the thing to look at with your glasses. Does Sienna want to get her glasses? Sienna, you've got to look at this with your glasses. It says, use the glasses from your pack to reveal a letter. So if you put your glasses on and look at the star and see if you can tell us what letter it is. What letter can you see? Can you see a letter? What letter is it? Oh, which one? An R. What, a R? Uh, does it? Right, do you want to go and scan the um, thing with the phone and see what it does? It's an F, is it? Where's the markers? Yeah, press, press that again. Turn back a bit. Can you get it in the circle? Has she got it right? Where is it? Hey! Where is it? Watch out the way, Sienna! Watch out the way, look! Sienna! That's you, Kev. I got wings! <laughs> now do you Sienna? Do you Sienna again? Let's see your wings, Sienna! <laughs> Mummy, look. Oh, mummy's got wings as well. Oh, that's such a cute picture. <gasps> mummy's got wings. <laughs> Good zogging, Felicity. Here you go, Sienna. Come on in, come in front, then. 
quick, fly like Flisty Flisty's flying ahead of you. Catch up to her. Hey, she's got a tiger on her wings. Felicity could possibly be in her luminous pink t-shirt. <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> it would be much easier to hide if you weren't in a bright pink t-shirt. This one's going to be scream as loud as you can. This one's going to be all about Sienna. This one is going to be where you come into your light, Sienna. Because this one is where you have to be the loudest. It says, what can you hear? Well, all I can hear is Sienna, mo Sienna moaning. She doesn't want to walk at the moment. I'm tired. You're tired? I'm going to get home. I'm going to go for I've already really forgot it. Are you? Oh, oh, I'm going to hit the pillow. I'm going to go for You're going to hit the pillow and fall asleep? Yeah. I bet you don't. Okay, okay, so it says, did you know trees can talk to each other? They give off chemicals. What the heck? They give off chemicals to communicate and some use a network of fungi that lives underground. I don't think Zog makes a snorting noise. You got that? Wow. Yeah, there's a screamometer that should be on Felicity's phone in a minute. Ready? I could green even when I was. Can but you? If I green even, I'm going to green even when I was. And when I get, and when I, and then when my knee, and then when I get to go from the and then when my knee hit the ground, I'm going to throw it over and can hit the pillow and feel the glee. Right, go on then, do your scream. <coughs> wow. Yeah, let's try to do it in front of the camera, Kayla. Oh, what, we've got to go again? You've got to learn, learn how to roar. I don't know if she has a cold or hay fever because. She stopped snorting when it was raining. Now it's not raining, she's snorting again. Dragon roars are some of the loudest. Do you think you can roar as loud as a dragon? Yeah. Hold on, wait a second. See if you can roar like a dragon with your friends. Oh, look, there's a roarometer. Right, Sienna, you got, a, you, got a roar like, you got a roar like a dragon. See if you can make it right to the top. It's a roar, though. <laughs> That's not a roar, that was a scream. She'll go, roar! <laughs> Charlie Park. <laughs> I'm not sure Charlie knows what's going on. <laughs> Did you give yourself a headache, Sienna? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I shouldn't make it to the end. Let me go. No! Charlie! Lissy, can you do a cartwheel on it? No, there's all lumpy things hanging out there. Oh yeah, you better not actually, you might hurt yourself. What about a balance? What's that? What about a stand on one leg? What about that thing where you jump, click your heels and land again? An arabesque, if you know. An arabesque? Well oh, done. Ready? Cartwalk. Uh huh. Can you do an arabast? Can you do an arabast? It's this, Yana. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. You want me to do an arabast before we're at school? An arabast. I can do it this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Why 
<laughs> Go on, you do it. Woo! What's it called, Lissy? An arabesque. An arabesque. Daddy does the best arabesque. Do they? Oh, perfection. <laughs> Oh yeah, pine cones. <laughs> How did he do it? Professional show us how it's done. Yeah, it's not wobbling. Think you got it, you will cut them. Nobody. Your mouth's not too tired, unfortunately. <laughs> Go on then, show us your tuck jump. Perfect, perfection from the little gymnast. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go and find another dog. Oh, We've got four God. still to find. Oh, oh that's bark. What are you going to do with that? Throw it on Dad. Energy again. <laughs> she always got energy when you get in here. If I threw it over again, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be breaking. Can you still got the phone? Yeah. Can you remember the cone? No. Ugh, I told you it four times. Wow. You should be able to remember. I told you it's Daddy's birthday. Come in here. Okay. Come in here. Time. Yeah, now you need to press the next button. You oh, you've got to read it. Who wants to turn into a dragon? Pick someone from your group. Maybe the person who looks most like a dragon. Oh, who looks like a dragon? Mummy or Daddy? <laughs> Mummy? <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm beautiful. Oh, it's me. <laughs> it thinks you're a dragon. <laughs> what does it do? Does it turn you into a dragon? No, it does this. Yeah, then you have to take a photo. <laughs> no, it doesn't think I'm a dragon. It only thinks you're a dragon. Look, put it back on you. No. Press the button. Oh, no, now it does. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see the picture. <laughs> Is she still talking about going to sleep? Yeah. Charlie's chewing up a stick. What have you got, Charlie? Yeah. What have you got? Where is it? Get it. it. No, press it. Where's your stick? Where's your stick? <gasps> no, press home. You get your badge then. Yay! We've only got three, three more. Yeah. Three more to go before to go home and hit the gun so I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone else go places where you saw something traumatic once and every time you go there you say it even though you've said it like so many times so every time we're walking on this particular bit of path one of us will say do you remember that time we were walking along here we saw that man fall off his bike and dislocate his shoulder I can still see it vividly in my in my mind this awful 
bone sticking out of this man's shoulder. It was absolutely terrible. And also, whenever we go, oh, there's a bike. We just had to duck out of the way because there were some bikes coming. Um, but yeah, whenever we go to Weymouth, my dad will go, there was this time when we were here and Kaylee was walking on the wall and she fell off. And Kev says every time we go to Weymouth, he can still hear my dad telling him that story for like the tenth time. <laughs> this has got something on it. Capture this moment. Forest bathing is spending time amongst the trees. Ooh. Using all your senses to relax. Why don't you try it now? Take five minutes to be calm and quiet. Hmm, I'd love that. See, there are lots of colours in the forest. Look through the periscope. What can you see? So does it look upwards? What can you see, Lissy? Nothing. I can see some dirt. That was Daddy's hand. <laughs> No, hers is a hearing one. Oh. The sounds of the forest change. <laughs> That's the one to listen to. You're supposed to listen. Ooh. Ooh. Sounds like a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> what can you hear? <laughs> Did you hear that? What was it? Smelly bum. <laughs> the trees told you you were a smelly bum. See, Anna, what can you see through yours? You can see what? Me you can see you asleep on the sofa, of course. It says, What can you I smell? Can <laughs> <laughs> it also says, Can you smell anything? Can anyone smell daddy? I see daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see Sienna's eyes? You look, it's actually really cool. Oh, there's something big going over us. Oh, Does anyone see a helicopter? I'm gonna do it. I'm it's behind the clouds, whatever it is. Now press the orange. The first to help you read. Dragons can be loud and strong, but do you some things on the go far? <laughs> quiet, wonderful things can happen. Extremely in a Sienna, I press it again then. Who do you think can be still for the longest? Mum. Oh, definitely, Mummy. No, me. What, still for the longest? Who can stand still with the longest out of you two? Right, starting from three, two, one, still. <laughs> they both moved at the same time. You're not very good at this, are you? I reckon if you were asleep on the sofa, you'd stay still for longest. Night, Sienna. Just have a sleep there on the forest floor. Night, night. What I'm gonna do when I get home, Mum. What's that then? I'm just gonna pick my finger and go for it, and then I'll go pull into it, and then hit my head on the pillow. Come on! And then, and then we're gonna clank it over me. There was a butterfly on my nose, and I went. What's that? Ah. Look. It says bravo! Hey! 
not to own. That's the word, Sienna. Bravo! Which is well done. That's right, go on then, Lizzie, you do the last one. No, on the floor. That's the air. Right, come stand there, look, like you have to do it this way. Thank you. Oh, there it is, up there. I'm not I'm the, the dragon. <laughs> Hang on. There he is! It's Zog! You enjoy your forest adventure. I want to be a Zog! If you're throwing up the team. <laughs> what does he say? He hopes he you. Hopes you. He hopes you enjoy your forest okay. adventure and collection for collecting your many golden stars. Oh. Let's have it one last photo. Together as a no, sunflower. Good afternoon guys, so we are back from our walk, um, Kaylee has just gone to take Reese to work, the girls have gone upstairs to get in my bed because Riley's playing um, PlayStation in the front room, uh, I am just going to, looks like, I'm just going to clean Jamie's mess up because Jamie's been making pizza before work and left his mess everywhere by the looks of it, um, so I'm going to sort that out, then I'm going to make the kids some um, sausage and mash for tea, and then when Kaylee gets back, we will probably vlog the food shop and it's not, but that Zog Trail, that was brilliant. I really enjoyed that. Oh, come on, man. Really enjoyed that. I think the girls really enjoyed that. Felicity must have been absolutely knackered because she has literally just slept for about half an hour in the car. Um, at one point, she was snoring louder than the radio. So, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, we've enjoyed it. Hopefully Kaylee will do a little segment to this vlog as well because I don't know how much I'm supposed to be doing otherwise. But yeah, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to make some tea for the kids, clean up, and then I'm looking forward to tomorrow when I've got to spend a bit of time with Reese, and we're going to watch England versus Wales in Cardiff. Um, I think it's just a warm-up rugby World Cup match, but super excited about that. So I'll get back to you soon. Bye. <laughs>